New bounties have been announced, and we have new Yonkos? One Piece Chapter 1053. Oda just did that. Mind me, my head's a mess. I've gone into this, like, not expecting, you know, like, the wildest chapter, but at the same time, sort of wild. But we got more than I anticipated. A lot more things that I anticipated, and one big thing we'll get to at the end. But wow. Well, that said, let's get into the chapter. So, new chapter, the new emperors. Getting into this, we have a nice color spread for One Piece Odyssey, but mind that. So, we start with a chapter of Gotta Say, and they're just like, what is the meaning of this photo? We told you to never approve it. We told you to remove a D. And they're just like, yo, this photo was sent by Guranika Summer, and I can't exactly remember who exactly that is, so remind me. But the weird thing is, they said reprint it, this cannot be, the world cannot be permitted to see this. So, they said, um, what was interesting here? The photo must be obviously Luffy Gear 5, but they said we told you to remove a D. So, another question here is just like, why they sort of said remove a d everybody already knows luffy's monkey d luffy so why would they remove the d it is interesting over here very very interesting i feel the main part of this which I, uh, i'm gonna this is gonna be a really long review by the way so if it ends up being like half an hour i'm truly sorry but i have to get my thoughts across so i feel like the main feeling for this they're like all right luffy is joy boy this image shows joy boy maybe some people already know what the entity looks like but seeing that person and separating it from Luffy, you wouldn't really think that's Luffy. Because even Yamato and Momonosuke was like, what is that form, bro? It looks insane. So justifying that, they told you remove a D, remove a name pretty much. Do not say this is Luffy. So that's kind of fucked right now. Wild. Good news, Morgan. Saying, hey, yo, it's have a post transmissions. Well, Wano broke off. We're not going to let them, you know, spread this little propaganda shit. I'm going to tell you the real story. So beautiful for the boy. It's like a live show, my boy says. And then we enter the bit where we're just like, you know, with the free bounties. we got Luffy Law Kid. And, you know, I was predicting at the beginning of my reaction. Go check out the reaction if you haven't already. Pretty exciting stuff. I was predicting Luffy... 5.6, Law about 3 point something, Kid about 3 point something, also Zoro 3 point something. No, we are wrong. So these are not the last bounties in the series. This has to mean they are going to be future bounties within the series, which I'm actually excited about, because that means we must have another big arc coming up, whether that be Elbaf or whether that be the final war, then bounties there. So it's interesting. So Luffy, Law Kid, all bounties, 3 billion beautiful bounties, not too high, not too low, and it really shows the standout with the three captains also being equal in strength, so no one really has to. So the power scales, calm down, I see y'all on Twitter saying, hey yo, power scale in this. It's shows like you know they took down yonkos but of equal effort and kid goes running off he's just like nah uh i'm gonna go to see this you know so we'll get to like why kid ran off in a little while all right we have obviously you know the menu being served uh jinbei we'll go through this bit quickly because it's not as important as other stuff right jinbei is really talking about hey i'm sorry the can't wait two hours they really want to go up into the town we get the town and we're getting some beautiful stuff like a proper firework type of festival you would get in anime slice of life yavato chopper luffy yakisoba like eating all of that type of stuff takoyaki love to see it's like a really like a, like i said slice of, slice of life festival beautiful then we finally get robin so robin all the fears about last week she was actually downstairs reading ponograph by the looks of it it's on the right so he was just like the guy comes up right um tengu 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 is just like hey yo how are you nico robin do you like the things no one's just like no no not cute bro and he said he was in prison down here for a number of years i thought you were sort to me who exactly are you and he was just like yeah i'm causing me um sukiyaki father of kozuki Oden. and i'm just like fair enough Fair enough, okay. And there's actually theories on this. Him, So I've actually looked now, so they didn't announce this before, but there are theories, people actually predicting this, so if you guys predicted this, if you knew this, shout outs to you guys, unless like I was actually completely wrong and I actually did show this, but I don't remember too much about Tengu, so beautiful though. Um, He is Kozuki, Odin's dad. He said by the time he got out, one has already changed, Odin was dead. He's thinking about killing himself, but you know, it should be somewhere in this country. The ancient weapon, Plumpton. Plumpton. Mad thing. Robin just like, oh my god. And you have the little clank. So I'm gonna love when I do that in anime. It's gonna be beautiful. At least that's what the Ponograph said in Arabasta. It indeed is here. So really going back to Arabasta here, what's kind of wild. And I really can't remember what, like I'm trying to remember what Ponograph it was. I think my memories of Arabasta are so vague and I have to really reread the series properly. But I'm intrigued to see where it is. So I guess we're gonna spend a little bit more time within One Piece and see what's really going on. And then, and then, and then. We get to the wild bits. We get to the wild bits. We see Udon prison, but surrounded by a bunch of branches and shit. Like, just a bunch of shit on the floor. And you're like, what's going on? And I see these guys being stabbed by these vines and shit. I'm like, oh my god, that's you Goku. That's you Goku. Yeah? He's coming out. Bitch is king. Bitch is queen. He got fucking queen on the Weight Watchers diet program. That boy doing a keto diet. Like, my boy looks skinny. Nice. He was just like, hey, a post-diet physique doesn't suit me. You hear? what queen said. He's still taunting him. And... 
beautiful. He's just like, yo, you think you little commanders are gonna give me some trouble? The Navy doesn't really have the manpower to waste on y'all motherfuckers, right? So beautiful, like he's just knocking them the fuck out. Then we see his design, and Oda has really gone free out of free on some of the best designs in One Piece so far. We got Momonosuke, who was beautiful design. We got King, who also had a fucking phenomenal design, and you got Ku. We got you got Ku, who also has a phenomenal design. So it's like Oda. You ain't missing with these new designs, bro. I expect to have a little bit longer hair and shit. But he looking like... He just look like a badass, bro. And uh, he's a, a Sakazuki simp. So, um... Yeah, man. <laughs> he, he, he's simping. He's simping. That's what he's doing. A fanboy. That's what he is. Love to see it. He said he's sure to give me an attaboy if I bring him this brat's head. That being Luffy. But now it's called a warship. So once we get into the next thingy of Wano, I guess we're going to have a little battle with Yugoku. Um, and... Everyone's not really in the position to fight him right now, like, because his power looks insane, first of all. Um, plus, with him doing hockey, one of the things do look black, so he's doing hockey on this too. He looks kind of unstoppable right now, so I re I'm really interested to see who's going to stop him. Obviously, we have the partying, beautiful there, but kids running off the Mugiwara. And he's just like, hey, yo, if I get you, and he's just like, no, no, let me, let me bring you in. We're bros now. And he's just like, wait, I don't know what's going on because the kid's trying to beat the fuck out of him still. He's like, I want nothing to do with this cap. See here, I came to kill you. Luffy's like, yo, I don't know what's going on. He says, they've announced the names of the new Yonko, the new four emperors. Shanks, Luffy, Blackbeard. It's not kid. It's not law. It's not Kaido Big Monks. They're gone. Now, who is it? Buggy D Clown. <laughs> The bombastic clown, Buggy. What is going on? What the fuck is going on? Like, honestly. You're telling me a guy with 17 million bounty, like a berry bounty. I believe it's 17 million. Um, is a Yonko. So that's good. We're fine. We actually kept the Yonko system. That's one thing I like. Luffy's a Yonko now, too. Um, but why is Buggy included within this? Interesting, very interesting. Now let's go through this, you know? Let's go through all of this as a whole. Obviously, you go through the way. He says, well, we Marines aren't in such a good mood, especially since the rest of the world is in such a mess right now. So this, uh, and this is, times are changing. There's really like a lot of shit going on in the back too. And Act 3 didn't end either though. So what is going on? Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Interesting. And you Goku obviously outside of uh, the flower capital right now. We see Onigashima there, Onigashima's skull, and he's walking towards it. And we are, now we have a four week break. So interesting there. Now, let's talk about everything a little bit. Uh, first of all, my, my hands are messed so I'm sorry for that. Like, legit, I look like the biggest shit today. It's way too hot up in here in the UK, so whatever. Um, you go, Goku, first of all. His design looks phenomenal. And TCB actually wrote something saying, His tattoo reads, She was deaf and Kaba was deaver. Shinju in mind. Shinju is generally used to refer to a suicide pact. Double suicide. This is usually done by lovers. Read literally that can be taken as a suicide pact at the river of death. The tattoo itself seems to be a double reference to the Harada, the Harada song Shinjuku Shinju and the Rakugo tale of Shingawa Shinju. The tale basically means Shinjuku of the brain. By the use of Shinjuku, implies a much darker attachment to the area so by the looks of it he has a really dark past with something and this obviously must mean something to him so once we get the new goku flashback it's gonna be wild this is Vistaku switches location Shini shikigawa is probably intended to sound like shinagawa which contains a famous execution for the ground of the ronin with the switch it sounds like the title of raguko or rakugo I said that wrong. Which is about to get aging, which is about an aging prostitute, Oso, Osome? Osome, is struggling financially, wishes to commit suicide, but doesn't like the idea of doing it alone. So she enlists the client named Kinzo to join her. He has second thoughts, but she pushes him into the river ahead of her. Before she jumps, a telegram arrives, letting her know the money has finally come. Wow, that's kind of a dark story now. I think about it like, well, I'm reading this. the first time reading this. She changes her mind about killing herself and leaves. Kinzo survives as the water is too shallow to drown in. The reminder of Dakugo is rarely performed. Formed, but the comedic payback Dokugo has the most famously adapted in the movie Sun in the Last Days of Shogunate. Now, I don't know why this is important. Um, why he has this tattoo. I guess he sort of has a bit of a dark past here. So maybe, maybe this happened. Maybe Sakazuki saved him. You never know. You really never know. Color page is phenomenal. Like everything is just really looking good. You got good design. I don't think he's going to have green hair. I think the black hair will actually suit him a lot more. So phenomenal. This is just hyping up to be the best stuff we're getting in One Piece. Uh, there's surely to be a lot more fans coming back to the series too. Let me know if you guys, like if there are any new fans here, if you guys have binged and then you're finally watching this review video, if it's made it to you, phenomenal. Like we have a lot of stuff to talk about, what I'm going to get into now a little bit too. So, and we're already 12 minutes in, so I guess we're going to have another 10 minutes at least of talking. So, 
3 billion bounties for everyone. Beautiful. I think it's not too low, and it's a lot less than what I expected, which is actually good. See, Oda, I guess we were so hyped in this situation, where we just didn't know what to expect. And if, well, I'm not too sure what Kaido's bounty was. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I believe it was 4 billion? Uh, and I could be wrong. It was 5 billion. No, no, it was 4 billion. 4.6, right? So Kaido's was 4.6 billion, right? And Luffy's is lower. So the reason of this being lower is obviously it was a raid. It wasn't just Luffy who beat him. Now, really need to take this into consideration. Obviously, Luffy did get the finishing blow on him, but everything happened within this raid. It was not just Luffy. It was an equal effort between these three captains who came together, started a Mink Pirate Alliance, and really, you know, banded together to defeat Fingy. So I guarantee you, if we're going to get some of the Mink uh, bounties, let's say Inu and um, Neko, I guarantee you they might be a billion too. The reason for that is because they also orchestrated within all of this. Even all the Akaza 9, they're going to have bounties too. Everyone will have a bounty to play within this. These three leaders, obviously, since they orchestrated this raid, came together. Boom. You're going to have them as the highest, I would assume. And they could be someone higher. That I'm interested to see Yonko. Uh, sorry, not Yonko. Yamato's and Zoro and, uh, Zoro and uh, Sanji. Which is interesting here because I don't know how much far apart would be from Luffy's. If it's like 1.5 billion, half of your captain, that's nice because you have the wings of the captain. And then you can obviously have Yamato back in you too. It's also 1.5. Beautiful there. Uh, Plantain as well. I'm really interested to see how we're going to get into the Plantain stuff or whenever that really comes about. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. And I, I Frankie's going to, like, you're going to have to talk about that. That boy. Uh, spicy stuff there. Um, Kozuki, Oden's father. Kozuki, Sukiyaki. I think Suki, Sukiyaki's a food. Isn't it food? or something? Sukiyaki. Sukiyaki. I need to look that up, bro. Sukiyaki. See, again, the Sukiyaki is a food. My boy, whole ass meal. Your whole ass snack. Y'all feel me. Beautiful, though. Uh, he says he's not going to tell anyone. So, I feel like he will. But he said people are going to decipher it down. So, we'll really see what happens over here. Tengu-san, Kozuki Sogiyaki, nice story there. New Goku, like I said, we really get into this now. He, I can't tell if he's using Haki within these vines or if that's his blood. But obviously, um, it's very interesting. Um, because right before we got to Udon, we see all of this shit covered. Now, is this fruit awakened? I don't know. I do not know, honestly. What type of fruit this is? Um, Logia, by the looks of it. Yeah, I would, I would think it is. But at the same time, I also don't know. Um, honestly, do not know. Paramecia, maybe, but I, I don't know. Uh-huh. Like, it's obviously not Zoan, unless somehow it is, and they surprise me again. But obviously, either Ologia or a Paramecia, because it's affecting the whole area around. Uh, but he's also turning himself into the thing, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. They could do, like, not... Got no clue. Got no clue. Bitch King, Bitch Queen. Love to see that. Like I said, he put Queen on a Weight Watchers diet. And now, I beg the question here. This whole suicide pact of um, New Goku, what's going on with that? Like, what is this tattoo? What's the meaning? Like, I feel like I'm going to have a theory over here. Maybe he was saved by Sakazuki. Maybe he was pushed into the river like that. And, you know, he's just like, yo, Sakazuki, I'm going to save you. Maybe that's why he has such admiration for Sakazuki. He's such a fanboy for him. Maybe that's why. And obviously at the end, we have Buggy, Luffy, and all of that. So why is Buggy a bounty? What did Buggy do to warrant this? And I was talking about this with chat at the end of my stream. Well, it's like, yo, who is Buggy running away from at the end of uh, when the Shibuka, Shibuka guy got abolished and he was running away from a Vice Admiral? So obviously it means he beat this Vice Admiral. But what did Buggy do here? The Buggy always gets himself into these situations where he doesn't really want to be in them. So what's going on? Like, how is Buggy actually strong now? Why did Oda do this? And fun fact over here, I'm guessing everybody knows this before you start commenting. Check volume 25. I already know about volume 25. So if you go on volume 25 of One Piece, we see a goat in the middle. Yep. And then you see Shanks top right, Blackbeard bottom left. And this is Skype here, I believe it's around Jaya. You got Luffy bottom right. And you have Buggy at the top left. So almost foreshadowing in a way, I guess you could say. The goat and the four emperors. Like, yo, wild shit over here. Oda's obviously in the middle being the goat. Why is Buggy a Yonko? This is something I keep repeating. It's literally just what I said. I think I said bounty by accident. I'm tripping out. Why is Buggy a Yonko? I don't understand. I don't know if it's a meme thing. I don't know how anyone really feels about this either. Do you guys feel like this takes away from the Yonko, you know, like, power? Like, does this really take away from the whole situation? That's the one thing I really want to know. Apart from that, those are all my thoughts. I can't really decipher anything else. we got a four-week break. And don't you worry, like, the One Piece content ain't going to stop. We're going to start doing it weekly as well. We're going to get the Road to Laugh Tale. We're going to get the cut content. So I may read the spoilers for those because it's not something major as cut content and stuff like that. So it's not, like, the main story. So I may read the spoilers on Tuesdays, probably. And obviously, I'll get them out to you a lot earlier than anyone else would. So stay sub for the exclusive content. Like the video. It would really help your boy out. Join me this call. We have a lot more people joining to come to talk about that. Anything I missed, let me know. But for, I know, like... I've got my thoughts out. 
I said everything I wanted to. Wild ass chapter, four week break, but we got Road to Laugh Tale. Beautiful. And also, wait, I forgot to mention something actually. Um, Yugoku said the world wasn't a bit of a mess. So what's really happening on the outside now? We obviously got the Sabo stuff here. He's obviously probably bitch Sabo. What is going on? Bro, I need to get out of this. Why is why did Act 3 not end? Obviously, Wano's not over yet, but the saga is over, so. Let's see what goes on. The first arc of the new saga is obviously gonna be the post Wano. So let's see. Beautiful though. Can't wait. Like and sub. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know how you really feel about Buggy being a Yonko. Tell me in the Discord too. Follow my Twitter if you guys want all the memes of that. And I'll see you next time, Sensei. Out.